want to have a nice flying platform in the air that's all nice and steady even though we have a lead block on one side? Or do you want to make a nice ship that just glides through the waves without tilting a bit? Well, this is the tutorial for you. Welcome to Jimodism Stable Control tutorial of how to make stabilized stuff. Make things be just like that. Horizontal, nice, straight in the air, no tilting. Or on the water, it doesn't really matter. Now, this tutorial is most usually um, applicable to ships because I use this on basically all my new ships to have some nice stabilization. Um, nice stabilization also makes your, um, well, helicopters, um, airships and ships being less um, devastated by big, big recoil from their cramped turrets and stuff like that. Um, having this kind of stabilization uh, makes it easier for guns, especially slow turning guns, to keep its eye on the target and hit. And um, also lets you flip over less often. So, well, let's get into how to build this thing. All right, so we have a beautiful platform in the air here. It could be in the water as well. It doesn't matter. The only thing is that for this tutorial, we use jet engines. If you want to build this in water, you do everything like we do here, but you use propellers, of course. Um, nothing more to it. So uh, let's get into it. And now, because we are having a hovering little thing here, um, we have both balloons and like daddy poles there and it's good to have if we would make an airship but we're not really making an airship <laughs> we're making a thing and to make this thing work we need engines so uh, make sure we have a little engine there you can see down there in the uh, right corner we have engine power we have 400 that should be enough so first thing we need to set up here is uh, we need an AI because the AI is going to control all this. Right, throw on a couple of connectors there. Um, not wrong to have detection on your AI. Uh, and then we have, let's see here, do we need? We need PIDs, one for pitch, one for roll. Okay, let's not block the AI when we already had, when we went through the trouble of adding it. Right, so now we need to set up the AI, which wants some more processing power. There we go. So let's go into the AI here. We add behavior, you know, not matter too much. Point at, we can select. Here we have maximum pitch per, to target. We want it real steady even in battle. So let's, uh, let's set us as uh, zero for this one. Then we have uh, adjustment here. And because I'm using a flying thing, uh, I'm going to set it as uh, minimum altitude above land, 50 is nice, maximum altitude can be like 50 as well, sounds good. Um, and uh, well, if you make a boat, you can set the min maximum altitude above water and max altitude like that. Like of course, just as I have these propellers like down here, you can have um, propellers that are for water propellers, not like airplane propellers. You can have them under the ship and make them make the ship float. One of the factions in the campaign actually use a lot of propellers under their ships to make stuff float. So you can do that as well as I do for a flying thing. Yeah, well, let's go to maneuver here. Now, normally, if I would make an airship thing, um, hover movement would be the more sensible thing to do. But since uh, this tutorial is mostly going to be used to actually make ships, let's select the ship or tank routine, because it's a little bit harder to set up. Not much, but if you make a ship, it's really nice to have... Uh, I think it's nice to have the ship routine specifically. Yep, not that other routines won't work, but... Just, I like it. Yes, I think it's better maneuver. maneuver. Okay, and here we are. Here we have idle pitch to, uh, idle pitch angle. Select this to, you know, come on, zero, or very close to zero. It's not matter too much. Then we have allow hover and use pitch controls. Check these both. You heard that our, um, our daddy blades actually just activated when I 
<coughs> click that magical button. Right, then we have PIDs. Here we have pitch, check it. Here we have roll, check it. Here we go. <coughs> I can't even release this thing. And we are slowly going to tilt. This is why we need to do the next step. Because if I have a lead beam here, we're like, we're like gonna, we're, we're just gonna flip over and die. Maybe not die. If it were land, we were going to die, but yeah. Okay. So let's go to air and we can go to jet engines. And now if you are making a ship, you can use small or big propellers. Um, yeah. You can see this little thing here, it says mass. This is a good thing to make and this is a good thing to add when your ship, airship thing is kind of finished. That's right, when it's kind of finished you want to do this. You see this mass here? We take a approximate line and we just add down there. And uh, just for the sake of it we can even add them on top as well. And then we of course have pitch control. Well, we're going to have a pitch control here. And one there. Or two. Yeah. Alright, we dive into this one. Click picture preset. Um, yep, picture preset is set. You can see it's pitch down negative one. Same as this one. It sets up a picture preset automatically now for some reason. You can see this is positive one. It's positive one. Yeah, that's what we want. Here we have a picture preset. That's wrong. Click roller preset. Roller preset. You see roll right, positive one. And here we see this one. Roller preset, negative, because it's uh, pushing the other way, negative. And if your stuff would for some weird reason be reverse, well, you just drag them there. You know, nothing more to it. You just revert them manually if they, if they don't want to work for you. Roll right, roll right, perfect. And this should be then left and left. And you can, uh, if you set up a lot of them, it can be easier to just control C, control V. You can just paste copy paste the settings. All right, let's release the beast. Oh yeah, now you can see it started to working to keep us stable. Oh, and uh, we're not flying very well here. That's because motor drive is not on. Um, if you want Deadly Blades to be efficient, you need to turn on motor drive, not necessarily towards 10, but you know, and upwards force fraction is uh, not a bad idea to have, but I think it's cooler to just have them like this. Now you can see, uh, of course we have hover control, so we should stop at our desired altitude. Oh lord. Um, I'm sorry, I made a really bad engine design. <laughs> yeah, I highly recommend you to make engine designs that don't overheat, but <laughs> there we are. Uh, now we have a better design here, and you can see it uh, pushes up to a very high altitude. We'll need to check the AI. Oh, look, minimum altitude. This changed. <laughs> okay, let's drop the max altitude down to like 50 instead, so we have some nice low flying stuff. You can see we, we are now dropping down there, beautiful, but we're still stable. Do you see how nice this is? It is very nice, I tell you. Well, if you think this is a little bit wobbly, well, you're in luck because there is some stuff you can change here. If you go into these PIDs here, or the AI generally on the PID section, we have Edit Pitch Controller. And our pitch is pretty fine, so we can change this only if we have a problem. But you know, if we add gain, they will kind of be more powerful in some weird way. And if we have, dependent on how much inertia it needs to change our ship's angle, um, we can change the derivate time to make it more stable or less stable. Like now you can see, it's very jerky when we have derivate time to zero seconds. Um, and being, being like um, all over the place, like jerking around, like whoops, 
angling, I don't know, flipping around like this, it can make you get hit by missiles less often, but you know, if you want a smooth, steady flight, you want some kind of, uh, you know, 1.5 second preset is pretty fine. Anyways, we have the roll controller, which I feel is a little bit of a problem here. We can try and see what happens if we add some gain, they will be more, um, they will be more direct in their action, more power to them, which can make it worse or better. Like you can see uh, their behavior kind of changes a little bit. Like here we see very low gain like this. Yeah, that's that's really stable. That's really stable. And we can even add the pitch here. Let's turn down the gain to quite low. Oh, you see? Wow. That's some magical stability. Magical, magical. Well, indeed. Now we're basically flying. Uh, 50 meters over land. Super stable. So, uh, let's see how our structure does. And, you know, if you suddenly get a lot of change in weight on your build, you might need to change your setup a little bit. But you can just test it and see if you need to add more gain to make them stable. Like that. Now it's kind of struggling a little bit. So I'm not actually totally sure what will happen, but let's just jump in here and max the gain out here. And we have a roll. Okay, we have pitch. Beautiful. Whoops. Oh lords, what was this now? Gain. Yeah, max the gain there. Yeah. So, uh, while we had a very balanced system here, now that we are loading it on, it performs much better when we upped the gain a lot. Like you can see, this is, this is uh, almost four tons on our side here. Almost four tons. Of course, we can't keep it exactly straight, but I must, I tell you, it's doing a damn good job at keeping it straight. And, uh, you know, while that's more powerful, we can never get the super magical stability we had when we tuned the game down to the perfect amount with a nice derivate to make it super stable. So, um, yeah, I'd say like this, if losing a part of your ship will make you really unstable, uh, I'd turn the gain up and make them a little bit more powerful so that you can keep a nice angle however you go. But if uh, losing like, if you don't have protruding like part like this, if it's more of a stable central build, it's probably more safe to, uh, um, to tune the gain to, to something very smooth like this. Ah, isn't this beautiful? But you know, if it suddenly changes weight, like one block, like no problem. But if you do like this, you see, they are need to, they need to work like, yeah, doesn't look, doesn't work. So that's kind of the balancing act you will do or you need to do when playing around with uh, this type of structure. But uh, well, I hope that you have uh, felt that this tutorial was quite useful and you know, it's what it was requested. So I hope uh, I could deliver. Um, well, glide around nicely on your beautiful planes. This is just so cool. It just glides so amazingly smooth. Yes, yes. It's just a nice feeling. Just perfectly tuned, gliding around like this. Nice. Yep, anyways. Um, do subscribe for future tutorials and uh, also please like the video if it did help you. And well, I hope I'll see you in the next video because this is your host, Jim Total Nordry Channel, signing out.